friends welcome to technique this is normal here and in this video we'll talk about the android 10 or android q beta version for the asus zenfone 5c so google has announced uh, that a lot of smartphones will be getting the android q beta version uh, and this included the asus zenfone 5c so this was announced in the google io and uh, a lot of smartphones uh, had uh, uh, the google uh, android q beta version available for download so now we have the asus zenfone 5c one of the smartphones from asus which uh, is available for the android q beta program and now we have installed the android q beta on this device so, so in order to install uh, this uh, uh, beta version of android q or android 10 uh, asus has provided a dedicated page where we have all the instructions mentioned so uh, we have the link in the description of this video where you can uh, uh, get to uh, all the information uh, how to install and all the steps where to download the beta version so everything is available there so uh, some of the important things to consider that when you install the android q beta this is this will go to the stock android and this will completely wipe off your internal storage that means everything will be reset your internal storage will be wiped off erased so make sure you take a backup of uh, all the files you have and another thing is that uh, don't install if uh, the Zenfone 5c is your primary device because this will have a lot of bugs because it's a first or rather the beta version so this will have a lot of bugs so don't install if it is your primary smartphone if you're using this as just a testing smartphone you can e easily try this out so android 10 uh, will be coming to Zenfone 5c as well so right now we have the beta version so this will have uh, uh, the stock android as, as usual so you can see this is the ui so you can see that icons are uh, square in shape so we couldn't see any option to uh, change or uh, uh, change the icon size so if you, if you go to the home settings there is no option to change the icon uh, uh, shape so that is something which is missing and if you go to the if you just swipe from the uh, bottom you can see the app drawer so this is the stock android like app drawer and you can see that again here the icons are squarish and if you go to the settings you can see the new uh, settings uh, of the Android uh, 10 and this and this is definitely not the stock experience you find on Pixel because it's slightly different here especially if you go to the notification center you can see that the toggles are a bit cramped up here and it's squarish uh, shape so you can see here when you just pull it out here it's a bit cramped up uh, UI uh, and uh, you can also see that about phone if you go uh, this is running on Android 10 so this is the Android 10 version and uh, you can see that uh, this uh, uh, is the beta version of uh, the Android 10. Now a uh, couple of things which are missing because uh, we didn't see any option to change the, uh, the to gesture so uh, Android 10 has a lot of gesture support so, so instead of the navigational keys uh, gestures are not available if you go to system uh, gestures uh, we don't see those gestures here just jump to camera and prevent ringing so those gestures are not supported as of now so probably in the coming version it might be supported but otherwise uh, it's uh, more or less the stock Android uh, except for few uh, changes done by asus uh, otherwise it's more or less stock android if you go to the recent key you can see this is the recent key and uh, you can just uh, swipe up to uh, clear the app and uh, this is uh, how you you see the uh, the recent key and if you just swipe from the bottom you can see that uh, there is the app drawer so just the support is not available on uh, this uh, ui as of now and you can also see that uh, the, uh, the toggles are slightly on the bigger side and you can also edit them now let's go to the settings also we'll just see the other option so you can see that battery if you go uh, battery manager is there battery percentage uh, screen on time is included then uh, uh, if you go to the display settings, so, so we have the brightness level, adaptive brightness is there, theme is included here, uh, dark theme is there, so you can just see the dark theme, so this is the dark theme, the implementation is slightly different here, so this is the dark theme available site wide, so you can see now see the dark theme in action, and you can also see the notification toggles are also dark theme, so you can also toggle this from uh, uh, the battery, uh, I mean uh, the uh, the battery saver mode so that will also uh, enable the dark theme so you can actually uh, change to dark theme from here now since uh, we have gone to light uh, with the battery saver is turned on it will be uh, the uh, the dark mode so you can have two option either turn on the battery mode or go to the dark uh, mode available uh, here in the settings so that's uh, the dark mode on the asus zenfone uh, 5z so overall uh, feels really nice uh, so this is uh, the android 10 beta version on the asus zenfone 5z so if you are using if you are having uh, the zenfone 5z you can just try this out it's pretty smooth actually there's no lag uh, on this ui it's pretty smooth ui and uh, you can see that uh, it's pretty smooth but then a lot of things are missing and there might be a lot of bugs we haven't tested it because we just installed it and uh, we made this video so we have not tested it 
so in case you have uh, the Zenfone 5C has your secondary or a spare smartphone you can just try this out so the instruction to download and install it uh, is available in the link in the description of this video all you need to do is download the, uh, the the main software version that's around 1.5 gigabyte in size then extract it and run the command connecting the usb uh, uh, cable to the device and uh, uh, boot into the fast mode uh, fast boot mode then uh, you can easily install it the process is the uh, process will just take some five six minutes that's all and uh, you get the android uh, q beta on the asus zenfone 5z so that's all guys hope you enjoyed watching this video do also hit the red subscribe button for more videos this is normal signing off thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day